We present HyperDepth, a new algorithm for structured light depth cameras that surpasses the speed and quality of existing algorithms. Here is an example of the raw unfiltered depth maps that our algorithm can produce. And here is an example of an accumulated 3D model based on fusing multiple of these depth maps. Our approach reframes what is typically a stereo matching problem into a pattern recognition task, where we classify and then regress depth just by simply labeling image patches in the observed image. Our algorithm allows us to solve this matching problem in spatial structured light systems efficiently and robustly without any matching. We show some more examples of our algorithm in action. Here we compare to the Connect V1 structured light system and we show improved quantization effects as we can regress higher fidelity depth estimates. Here even a smooth depth map from Connect cannot produce similar results as our system. Another example is shown here. Notice the range at which our camera can operate in. Again, a comparison with the Connect V1 shows heavy quantization effects in the V1 Connect camera. Because we can regress a smoother depth, our algorithm produces much higher quality results. To further test the quality of our algorithm, we ran an experiment where we scanned a series of objects using a number of state-of-the-art depth camera technologies. We used Connect Fusion to fuse these depth maps over time into a single fused model. Here we see results from our system compared to cameras from both Microsoft and Intel. Note in all of these examples, HyperDepth shows improved reconstruction quality based on the final RMS error of each of the 3D models. This improved reconstruction error is due to HyperDepth's ability to regress very accurate depth estimates without quantization effects that we see in stereo methods or multipath effects that we see in time-of-flight cameras. However, apart from producing high-quality depth maps, we're also able to very efficiently compute depth. We have a GPU implementation that can run at over a kilohertz, and a prototype camera system that can run at 375 frames per second. Here we show some high-speed sequences captured using our system. Note that due to the very short exposure time of the camera and our use of a diffractive optical element from the Kinect, reduces the signal-to-noise ratio of the captured infrared images and hence the final depth map quality is lower than our higher quality system. However, this still shows the potential for the hyperdepth algorithm to be used in new types of camera technologies that support high-speed tracking as well as higher quality reconstruction. Thank you.